Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. How are you all today? It is Monday. It is Monday. And I'm actually interested to see where the cards take us because I did not really uh, tune in yet today to kind of see where we were at energetically. Sometimes I do when I'm I'm creating the event, but I didn't today. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I grabbed a couple, I grabbed the last load of laundry. Uh, I jumped in the shower, put on a little bit of makeup. So that's really what I've been doing. Um, just getting ready to have the rest of my co first cup of coffee with you. And this is the week of 11-11. So I'm really um, looking forward I think I'm going to actually do a separate 11-11 video. Um, I actually did, if you noticed, um, I've been doing shorts it, in the different signs. Um, so if you have an, um, if you want to look at your astrological sign uh, and what's going on with you, you can actually go to my short playlist and you'll see that I actually did 11-11 a message uh, last week. So if you didn't catch on to that, uh, whether you're on my TikTok, yes, I'm on TikTok, or uh, you, YouTube you can check that out. And uh, they were one card using the Christ consciousness deck. I felt like those messages were coming through um, the gold ray of Christ consciousness. So there's actually a statue of um, Christ in the video and then also the Christ consciousness deck by Amanda Ellis. So that is there. But I think I'm going to do a longer video today. Um, so be look out on the lookout for that for the 1111 portal. What is it bringing us, right? What is what is what is it um, opening up for us? Is what I'm feeling, right? So good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, Tammy. So for those of you who are with me Friday night on my um, community monthly message call, um, that was very unexpected and. Um, my guide really came through with a message for us about how to be high vibe to help with um, collective consciousness. So, um, and then also your personal, your personal life. So take a look at that if you're part of my membership community. Um, if you're not, uh, feel free to join. Feel free to join Living in Love. Uh, you just hit the community button on my website uh, and you'll get all of the past meetings in a playlist. And uh yeah, all kinds of content for uh, spiritual awakening or ascending and uh, meditations. So there's a lot there. So um, no worry, Cynthia, no worry. You can watch the replay. Absolutely. Um, and I would highly uh, recommend it. So um, that is what goes on in the community. You have exclusive access to me three times a month. And also, if you want to take your the uh, Evidential Medium course starting January 11th and you join my community, you'll actually get that course at half off. If you've already been a part of my community, make sure you go into the group and check out the posting on that uh, offering because there's a little something there for you. So um, Really, really a special that you're all with me and I wanted to give back to all of you. So that is there if you want to be a part of that course. So take a look at the post in the group. The group is um, a private group that is dedicated to only uh, community members. So another way to have exclusive access to me is I do go in the group and read the posts and interact as I can. So really, really, really special stuff. So good morning, Mandy. Welcome, honey. It's been a minute. Welcome. I hope everything is well. So that's what we got going on here. Uh, I am Melissa L. Watkins, Evidential Medium and uh, Master Instructor with Integrated Energy Therapy. Uh, integrated Energy Therapy is a beautiful healing modality. So if you're someone that's feeling um, block, blocked or stuck energetically um, from trauma, uh, take a look at that on my website. <clears throat> I do have packages for those of you who want to do... Um, I want to say a deep dive, like you're really ready. You're really ready to let go of something that just weighs on you. Okay. <clears throat> that being said, I just want to see what deck spirit wants to use this morning. Honestly, I think I'm feeling I think I'm feeling oh. So uh, today, I'm actually going to clean this desk off. 
and organize myself. Things got out of has gotten out of hand. So now when I go try to find something, I can't seem to. Which makes me think it's somewhere else. And it shouldn't be. It should be right here. <laughs> <coughs> All right, I can't find the John Holland deck, which is very, very strange. So we were going to use uh, the Angel Messages by Radley Valentine. So, excuse me. <clears throat> I still got kind of a, a cough. Um, I've actually been taking some um, uh, vitamins and minerals to help me, and it's really helped, but it's still there. It's really annoying. Um, yeah, so let's see what the pink is going to bring for each and every one of us. I feel like I'm hearing something. That's why I'm like looking like I'm going crazy. Hello, Jen. Welcome. Welcome to my community if you are new. <laughs> Cynthia, you're so cute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's 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 not bad. It's just it's it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. And you know what it is? Um my room has seemed to become the catch-all. Um, and I really had to um go through it this weekend. So um I actually got all the, the laundry done. Um I got the, the top of the dresser um organized. Um it's the beds now it's the uh and I and uh yeah, and so floor looks good. Now it's, we got to do the surfaces. So the bedside, bedside table where all my reading material is and my journals are, and then also um, this desk. So all good. All good. All right. Uh, I've had a couple cards flip out. And so we are starting this message in a really nice place. Holy cow. Uh, yeah. Oh, they keep falling off. I'm glad you guys love me. <laughs> I'm glad you guys love me. Okay, and you stick with me. Um, I feel a little crazy this morning, but that's okay. I've been actually doing a lot of different things. Um, just organizing and cleaning wise. Um, just, you know, sometimes it just needs it. It just needs it. And we just needed it. All right. Yeah, I like, I like, I like where this message is going this week. I like where this message is going this week. Um, and it tells a story. We have a story this week, so I really, really like this. Whew. And I know you've been feeling it as I've been feeling it. So we're starting with the um, Knight of Earth. Organized, responsible, supportive. Look at that. Could be why I've been organizing and being responsible all morning. I've actually um, responded to a couple of emails. Um, yeah. This is the week to uh, finalize conversations, um, commitments of the past. I feel like this is the week that you do kind of clear out things that you're just, you're done with. Um, whether it's having that last conversation with someone or having that last um, go around or um, submitting the, the, uh, the, um, I wanted to say resume, but no, that that's coming. But I feel like you had to you had to submit the um, letter of resignation first, right? So I feel like this is the week where you're really getting stuff done. This is the week where the energy is like, okay, you um, weren't feeling it, uh, you were holding on to some angst about it, but now it's uh, time to get grounded and really move forward in making the choices and decisions uh, that you need to finalize. Finalize. That's this is what I'm getting with this night of earth. You just um, need to get grounded and just do what you need to do. I'm almost seeing like the, the horse pawing the ground before it like takes off. Like you're pawing the ground. You're, you're setting up the circumstances. You're setting up this week, your um, self for success. Right. And one of the ways in which to do that is to get balanced. So um, there may be some self-control or compromise that you have to come into to help the, the uh, energies balance out, um, the relationships balance out, you balancing out your own energy. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Sounds like I got a frog in my throat. Um, but that's what I'm feeling this week. Like This is the week of getting things finalized, and that brings you into balance um, because it, you're just you're over it. 
you're over it. You're over whatever feels like spilled milk. You're over whatever um, has been coming at you to say uh, you did me dirty or I don't like this or I don't like that. And it's like, oh, well, oh, well, you know, there's a reason I reacted the way I reacted. There's a reason I brought to you, right, what you have brought to me. And that's what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling like you're this week, you're really getting the realization that you just can't go on in this situation the way it is anymore. Um, you've been, um, you're just done. You're releasing it. You're letting it go. And that's what this week I feel like is all about. And it's not um, arbitrary. It's because it's the reaction to what has um, brought you all kinds of pain in anger. So the re revelations of uh, someone doing you dirty has coming out or has come out. Uh, the backstabbing has come out. The deceit and deception has come out. There's a lot of stuff um, in the recent past that has been very negative in your life that you could not not see anymore. And that's what I'm feeling with these two cards. You could not see who was um, not helping you who was not being there for you, who was not giving to you, whether it was job or relationship. And this is the week to get balanced, to compromise, to forgive. And this isn't forgiving and, and uh, letting them continue. This is forgiving and saying, I'm releasing it. I'm releasing it to the universe. I'm releasing what you did to me. I'm releasing how you treated me. I'm releasing how I allowed it. Whatever my part was in it, I'm releasing it. I'm letting it go. I'm just done. I'm over it. Um, you, you did me dirty one too many times or, uh, the cycle, uh, I'm breaking the cycle. And for some of you, this is really, um, breaking narcissistic abuse for the, some of you, this is family, friends, and, and love lovers who have just, um, they have hurt your soul with their pattern of abuse, verbal, emotional, physical, mental spiritual, energetic. For some of you, you're, you, this is the week you're cutting the cord to that energy vampire. You're like, I'm done. I've given you all I can give. Uh, you're, cu you're cutting them out of your, uh, I'm seeing the, the, the scissors also cutting the purse strings. So I'm, I'm cutting the financial. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Monica. So yeah, I, I'm feeling like this is the week you come into compromise and balance for yourself. For yourself. And you're forgiving yourself for anything you need to let go of. And you're um, you're just done with the negativity. You can't worry about it anymore. you got to move on. Yeah, because you're coming into this king of fire energy this week where you are uh, inspirational, charismatic, and innovative. Yeah, this is the week for you to come into your, your fire, your passion, um, what it is you want for you. Um, I almost feel like there's a lot of empaths out there going, I can't be empathic any, or I can't be empathetic anymore. Right. I've been so empathetic that I've enabled you. <clears throat> Didn't get me anywhere. I've been so empathetic that I've let you play the game one too many times. I've let the cycle happen repeatedly. It's been on repeat. Right. Um, remember those old um, CD players where you could put your CD on repeat and it would just keep playing the CD until you took it off. That's what I feel like. I feel like you're, you're, you're hitting the off button this week in some way, whether it's the final complete disconnect or whether it's the, I now see it and I can't let it go on anymore. I now see it and I have to move on. I've been bamboozled. I've been deceived. I've been played one too many times. And as much as I care about this person, I never want to demonize these situations, right? Everybody has light and dark in them. But I feel like the dark has been what you've been dealing with. And uh, their light has not been enough shining through to allow you to uh, stick in it with them, right? They haven't been able to make the choices and decisions that have allowed you to also thrive, also um, come into financial stability, also come into um, <clears throat> what it is you need. And I feel like this is the week that you are now coming back into balance for yourself. You are now coming back into what it is you need for yourself. 
um, finding your passion for yourself, finding your fire for yourself. Oh, Cynthia, that's beautiful. Um, and it's okay. It's okay to be um, spiritually selfish. It's okay to be selfish in a way that you're protecting yourself, you know, as an empath or <clears throat> just a compassionate person. You don't want to hurt anyone else. You don't want to put anybody else in a situation that's not going to be healthy. But you have to kind of look at that and um, can you want that for yourself? Can you want that for yourself? Can you say no for yourself? Because you are being put in a situation where you don't have what you need. You're being put in a situation where you are at a loss, right? Whether it's a emotional loss, a financial loss, mental loss, spiritual loss, energetic loss, whatever it is, right? That it, Are you in a negative deficit because of a situation that you've given too much to? And this is the week where I feel like you cut the cord in some way. And for some of you, it's the final straw. And for some of you, it's the, the first, the first step away from disconnecting in a way that's going to bring you into balance so that you can start receiving what you need. You can pour into your own cup. You can love yourself. You can take back your passion, your desire, your dreams, your goals, and start taking steps on that path. And I feel like this is what this is what this week is bringing you. I'm glad, Joe. I'm glad. Sometimes we have to kind of get hit in the face with things that, especially when it's someone that um, they made promises. Um, who they were at the beginning, um, the promises they made. You wanted to believe. You did believe in it. You did believe in it. You trusted. And for anybody out there who's like really trying to slam themselves for trusting someone else who did them real dirty, don't, don't. That is your kind heart. And I don't want you to lose that in this because there are people out there that will give back. There are people out there that will respect your heart, will give to you. They're out there. And I know it doesn't feel like it right now, but they are. So this is the week where you have to let go of who isn't. Because until you make space energetically, you're not going to be able to draw to you that kind of relationship, right? Or um, situation, right? Um, all right. So let's get some advice. I feel like we need some advice. Um, so we're going to get some uh, angel guide messages from um, Wild Ray, the angel guide. Monica, this is the weekly video. So um, yes, definitely like my page because you will get notifications as to when I go live to do coffee and cards um, or Tarot Tuesday, depending on the week. So definitely like my page. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe and feel free to share and feel free to share. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right. So what is the advice? Oh. Oh, we got one hanging out there. So, oh yeah, <laughs> this is the week. Take charge and take action. Yeah, this is the week. This is the week where uh, no is a complete sentence. This is the week where uh, you cut the purse strings, where you cut the cords. This is the week that you take charge. You take your life back. That's what it feels like. It feels like you take your life back. And again, for some of you, it's not going to feel comfortable at all because you're just maybe doing this for the first time ever. Maybe this is the first time that you take your power back in any situation. Maybe this is the first time you recognize that no is a complete sentence, that you do deserve the people sitting at your table giving back to you as well as you giving to them. So yes, this is the week to take charge and take action. Not because you're mean, not because you don't care, but because you also have to care enough about yourself to have self-preservation. And that's what I'm getting today. It's time. And some of you, it's about taking charge and taking action on that goal, that goal that uh, has been sitting on the shelf. 
or uh, you have felt like it's too good to be true or it's too big. Um, who am I to desire that? No, this is the week. Take a step. Take a step. Uh, network with people who've done it. Uh, get more information, right? Whatever it is, take charge this week in some way that is going to allow you to move forward um, so that you can start feeling like you can achieve, right? That you are good enough, that you do deserve. This is the week. So if you need a mantra, grab a mantra, right? Yeah, raise your vibration. This is the week. This is the week to get into joy. This is the week to get into gratitude. This is the week to raise your vibration by letting go of the negative negativity, letting go of the density, right? Letting go. And for those of you who are really, really struggling, because again, um, it terrifies you to let go. It terrifies you to say no because of that programming in your body that says we're not safe and stable if we take our power back, right? Or you're not going to be okay, right? The fight or flight. You have to overcome the fight or flight that's so ingrained in you. So if you're really someone struggling and you need some support, please check out my website uh, for integrated energy therapy. I can help you. But yeah, this is the week to raise your vibration. This is the week um, to pick yourself up. This is the week to find your strength. And look at that. Look at that angel in the, the angels right behind you. You're never alone. You're never alone. So if you're feeling it, Call on your team of guides, angels, and ascended masters and say, I need help. Pray. Have faith. They will bring you what you need. It may not be in the way. It won't be in the way that you expect at all, right? But ask for a sign and they will bring you a sign. Ask for support and they will bring you support. Number patterns. Leaving coins, feathers. That phone call out of nowhere those song lyrics on the radio, whatever it is, they will support you. They will let you know you're not alone. You're never alone. You're never alone. But the thing with the, um, this whole uh, universal energy is as humans, we have to show that we're ready to take the step. So we have to take an action step. We have to say no, or we have to move away, or we have to uh, submit the letter of resignation, or we have to do something for ourselves, right? Network with someone or get the help. You know, for some of you, it's about uh, being honest about addiction. For some of you, it's uh, being honest about uh, abuse. For some of you, it's really being honest with yourself about uh, the situation you're truly in, not the one that uh, you tell yourself you're in, right? So for some of you, this is this is the week that uh, there's no more playing. There's no more burying our head in the sand. We are in despair. And that's exactly what I feel like this card shows or illustrates, right? You are in despair. You're on your knees. It's all a mess around you and you need help. And so for some of you, you are looking for help. And that's what spirit can bring you. The right people, the right resource, the right situation. But you have to take a step out of the wrong one. And I feel like that's what this week is bringing you. The night of earth is bringing you the support that you need to take the step to bring yourself out of despair. Because it's time. Because where you are has not served you. Where you are has not changed. Where you are isn't going to change. You might be in the cycle. You might have the pattern going on, but it ultimately is going to be what it has been. Whatever you thought it was going to be, that is no longer viable. You have to let that go. Whatever the dream was, whatever the promise was, you have to let that go. Because what has hurt your soul is what it had truly, truly is. The mask came off and the underbelly was revealed. And that is what you need to believe. 
That is what you need to believe. All right. Um, oh, I thought I was grabbing another deck, but I grabbed a Law of Attraction. Okay. I've never pulled a Law of Attraction card on here. I usually use them for um, my uh, story. They're usually my story card. I think Spirit's saying we need to get them back out. People need them, right? All right. This is the one they want to bring. I am not in com competition for well-being. I am not in competition for well-being. Competition can serve you if it stimulates your desire, but it can be a disadvantage if it happens, hampers your belief in succeeding. In this unlimited universe, there is no need to compete for well-being, for your resources are unlimited. You may perceive a shortage, but it would be of your own making. Yeah. There is enough for everyone. There is enough money, there's enough talent, there's enough passion, there's enough people. There's no competition. If you stay authentic to who you are, your gifts and your talents, you will receive. So if you're perceiving a lack anywhere, that is deception. And you have to let that go. You have to say, I am not in competition for well-being. I am not in competition for well-being. Good morning, Mary Beth. So I guess we're going to get those cards back out and start using them again. Um, so with that, know that there is enough for everyone. There truly, truly is in this unlimited universe. And what you put out is truly what you get back. So you have to be very careful about what you're putting out. And the thing that the universe does not recognize is the word not. So don't ever use a negative in your affirmation. Make it positive. I am resourceful. I am powerful. Not, I am not limited. Because what you're going to draw to you is more limitation. That's how that works. So really, really important to only use positive statements and affirmations in gratitude. And if you're only feeling like you can come up with the not statements, write them down and then turn them into positive statements. Because the universe doesn't recognize that little word. And that was a huge aha moment for me many, many years ago. Because I was doing that. I was doing the not. But I was only getting the thing I did not want. Mind blown. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I am sending you so much love and so many blessings. If you truly want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you can uh, book me at my website. If you want to be part of my community, uh, meet like-minded people, uh, work with people who are on a similar path to yours, join my community. And I'm sending you all so much love and so much, so much light. And I truly, truly thank each and every one of you for being here. Oh, yes. Thank you, Cynthia. She said, don't forget to like and heart. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the hearts on Facebook really do help the algorithm. But if you're on uh, YouTube, please like the video. That really helps the algorithm there. And also subscribe. Really, really, really. Um, the subscriptions on YouTube have really been going up. And I truly, truly appreciate all of you who are subscribing, who have subscribed. I believe um, in one week, we got uh, over 40 new subscribers. So welcome, everyone. Um, yeah, and, and so if you've not been over to my YouTube channel, those of you here on Facebook, check it out. Uh, there's all kinds of playlists. There's the shorts for your astrological signs. There's the uh, classes and meditations. Uh, there's uh, daily, there's weekly, there's uh, monthly, and there's uh, moon and um, moon phases, uh, full moon and um new moon uh, pick a cards, uh, all kinds of stuff. I, I There's a light worker playlist. I mean, there's just so much. Um, so yeah, we're rocking it out. And I appreciate each and every one of you who are here. So thank you, Cynthia. I truly appreciate that. So we got a lot of good stuff going on. And if you're in my area, um, don't forget to stop into Crystal Clear 
uh, Health and Wellness at 54 Seminary Street, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm there for 6 to 3 p.m. Uh, on those two days every week. You can stop in. I can talk to you about uh, what we do there. And also, if you want to get a reading, I do 15-minute one-question readings or the 30-minute. So totally up to you. But there we are. There's so much going on. So much going on. But uh, yes, we have the Evidential Medium course coming online January 1st. So if you're someone that wants to take that course, uh, don't forget, you can get half off if you become a member in my community. So and if you are a member in my community, uh, definitely go to the group and check out the um, comments. I posted uh, something there for you. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. Sending you so much love and so many blessings. Bye, guys. Happy week. Happy week. Here we go. Let's set an intention to have an amazing week. <laughs>